Hi, I am Ajit Virkud, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology from Mumbai. Hello, today I am going to discuss fetal pelvic relationships. To understand labor, one must know various obstetric terminologies. Fetal lie refers to the relationship of the long axis of the fetus to that of the mother. It can be longitudinal, oblique or transverse. Fetal attitude refers to the relationship of fetal parts to one another. In cephalic presentation, the head can be flexed, deflexed, partially extended or fully extended. Presentation refers to the pole of the fetus that enters the pelvic cavity first. It can be cephalic, breech or shoulder. Presenting part refers to the portion of the presentation that lies lowermost in the pelvic cavity and is felt on per vaginal examination in labor. In cephalic presentation, the presenting part can be vertex, brow or face. This table shows the presenting part in various other presentations. In shoulder presentation, the presenting part can be shoulder or hand in case of a hand prolapse. In complete breach, the buttocks, genital organs or feet are the presenting parts. One or both feet, buttocks or one or both knees are the presenting parts in incomplete breach presentation. Denominator refers to the designated point of the presenting part that is referred to the various quadrants of the pelvis. In vertex, the denominator is occiput. In face, it is the mentum and in brow, it is the nasion or through to the nose. In breech, it is the sacrum, whereas in shoulder presentation, it is the scapula. Position refers to the relationship of the denominator to the four quadrants of the maternal pelvis. In vertex presentation, the occiput can be in V1 position, that is left occiput to anterior position, or V2, that is the left occiput to posterior position, or V3, which is the right occipital posterior position, and V4, which is the right occipital anterior position. An important parameter to measure the progress of labor is to assess the descent of head. This can be done in two ways, abdominally by the rule of fifths and vaginally by the relationship of the presenting part to the ischial spines, that is the station of the head. The only effective measure of fetal head descent is suprapubic assessment of how much of the fetal head remains palpable. The rule of fifth refers to the palpable fifth of the fetal head that is felt by abdominal examination to be above the level of the symphysis pubis. When two fifth or less of the fetal head is felt above the level of the symphysis pubis, this means that the head is engaged. The following short animation video will illustrate to you what is station of head. Station is defined as a relationship of the leading bony point of the fetal head to the ischial spines. When the leading bony point is at the same level as the ischial spine, this is called as station 0 and the head is said to be engaged. When the head is above the ischial spines, the station is given a negative number and the head is said to be floating. When it is below the ischial spines level, the station is given a positive number. At station plus 3, the baby's head is said to be crowning. One must remember that vaginal assessment of descent by the station concept is not equivalent to the suprapubic descent by the rule of fifths. Vaginal examination is dependent on the type of pelvis and it can also be obscured by the presence of a large caput. When plotting a WHO partograph, the descent of the head is assessed by the rule of the fifths and not by the station as estimated by vaginal examination.
For further reading on this topic and other topics, refer to the following books by author.